Good afternoon. Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'll be giving you a prediction reading for the 5th of October. I am here with my doggo Sprocket. Here he is. Say hi to everybody. Oh, he's always got a star in the videos. You know that he does. Um, Sophie's asleep inside. They've just had a big bone. He's a beautiful big boy. He's my rescue dog for anyone new to the channel. Um, oh, I've got to hold his hand. You know that I do. Um, um, don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't and I'll close my eyes we'll get started and we'll just see what comes up hopefully Sprocket won't interrupt us too much all right let's see what comes up now they're showing me people are finding their way so they're navigating um, this journey um, this is not you if you're watching my channel because we're navigating this journey pretty well We've been doing it for like three years now and <laughs> This awakening process it can indeed be quite challenging. So people are starting to navigate it um, In a smarter way. So it's almost showing me like um, It's showing me people with like a Is it a protractor and things like this and they're doing their mapping now so people are doing their mapping. This is the people waking up. They're starting to figure all this out because it, 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 it's showing me that people need to have hope because when people don't have hope in their life, there's nothing. So they have to get hope back in their life. So this is why they're starting to try and work this out and navigate the map that is in front of them. This is the people waking up. Um, I'm definitely getting that. They're kind of doing, it's almost like showing me like a shipping map where they're trying to work out the coordinates of where they are on the map and where they should be heading to. This is the people waking up. Um, they're trying to work out their coordinates. Like if I'm here, then in um, say six months time, I should be here. Like for example, if you're out at sea, you wanna reach dry land in the next month or two, don't you? So this is what I'm kind of getting for these people waking up. They're having to um, look at their maps and navigate their way forward because they need hope. They need hope in their life that they'll reach land <laughs> it's, um, oh god it's crazy isn't it but that's what I'm getting this visual of them trying to work it all out on their their maps um, I'll see what else we get today hang on a minute god I'm getting England's firing back they're showing me England um, and they're preparing their cannons it's showing me this is the little people and the peasants they're preparing their cannons it's showing me them Pushing in the, is it, what's the stuff, the cannon, what do you call that stuff? Oh God, I've gone blank. Um, that you shove into the cannon it's, and it ignites and boom, it, it shoots out. I guess you could say you shoot a cannonball in there, but they usually put, is it the powder or something they jam in? It's got this old fashioned, um, well, this is what I'm getting. The people are preparing now, they're preparing their cannons for the fight back. God, I feel like in England, there's a bit of activity happening over there. There could be a bit of, Mm, there might even be a change of government. We well, never know. Just saying. <laughs> Although she didn't get off to a great start, Liz Trust, did she? Um, but I am getting the people are going to start fighting back and they're showing me them preparing their cannons. And you think when someone pulls out their cannons, that means shit got real and things are getting serious now. Um, and, and people are really wanting to fight back. Um, I'll see, that's in England. So I'll see where else we go today. in London you know th this whole area is just so disturbed by all this now I said this in this morning's video about how they feel like the um, the Queen the Queen's passing rather has been dismissed and just pushed aside and now let's get on with it and let's roll everything out and that's how the people in um, London and England and sort of UK and that are feeling they're feeling like um, the Queen's passing has just been dismissed as though it was like nothing and that's really disturbing people. It's making people, like I said, really uncomfortable. It's not sitting right in the people. And then they're getting bombarded with everything else, all the BS that we know that's coming at them. Um, and like I said this morning, they're being taken on a detour. So they're being veered off the real path with the illusion, as we know on mainstream media, whatever they feed people is where they think that's taking them. But as we know, they're gonna be taken down a whole different road. Ah, oh, the road to nowhere again. We're getting that song, they're on the road to nowhere. That's where these people are being taken if they don't wake up really quickly. Um, let's see where else we go today. Hang on a minute. Oh God, I'm getting Europe. Europe standing by. Oh, Europe standing by for like takeoff. <laughs> Feels like there's this countdown in Europe. I have said in Europe, 
that people want their old lives back, and they do. They, they're sick of all this garbage and nonsense that they're being fed. Um, and I'm getting that, that they're ready for takeoff. So, so <sighs> when you think of takeoff, I always think of like a rocket ship or a rocket launch, like something like counting down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it feels like this is what's happening in Europe. Um, because people are frightened of where their life is going. They know where it's heading now. People in Europe are really waking up. They're not kind of scared anymore though. Like they were scared of the V and we know most people globally were. But I feel like in Europe, they're not scared of that anymore. God, let's face it, nearly everybody's had it. They're all immunized apparently against it. So that's not their fear. Their fear is losing their livelihoods and their lifestyle. So I am getting that countdown to Europe kind of maybe waking up let's hope fingers crossed that europe's waking up i do feel like they are they're gonna fight back um they don't want this people don't want it see that's what look how much we don't want it these people don't want it remember they're just starting to see this stuff and figure this out it's not easy to figure out we know that um look what we've all been through in the past gosh it's taken us a while to kind of figure this out and even then we're only getting a small tiny portion of what's coming at people. We don't even know the, the depth and the complexity of where this is going and where this is all heading. Um, I'll just see what else we get today. I'm getting Finland, Sweden, Belgium, Munich. There, there is stuff going on over there, there is. And it could be around, like I keep saying, you're all these trial areas for things they're trying to implement. Could be their spocky, could be the credit scoring again that they're going to try and implement these things. Because um, we know they've got to do their little experiments and see how people are going to react. So then when they start hitting other places, they can change it up a bit and, and do what works and, you know, eliminate the things that don't work. Um, so I do feel like you your areas are going to be starting this. Like, I do feel it's like, mm, we know it's renewables, but I am getting that credit scoring Excuse Sprocket's bum. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, thank you, Sprocket. <laughs> Brown eye on my videos. No, thanks, Sprocket. Good boy. Turn around. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so I am getting that. I do feel like the credit score, and they're going to do some little trials in these regions. And they may even use the um, the fuel for that, like they did in Sri Lanka. You know how they started credit scoring your fuel? That could, that could happen. Because you think about the complexity and the enormous task of well transitioning the world onto a credit scoring one central bank kind of system that's got to be a big task right there i mean we sort of think about it but we don't think that the enormity of what they've got to implement to make that happen so you know that's what i'm getting for these areas you could be so they obviously have to trial things it's not just going to roll out and everything goes perfectly because we know the jab didn't because a whole heap of us braveheart bikers and mavericks stood up and went nah we're not doing it and we went the other way and that threw everything off its course because we started to wake other people up as well to all this bs and garbage um i'll just see what else we get hang on a minute god they're showing me this uh, i don't know if you guys have them where you guys live but they're showing me this like oh spocky this round robin which is when you have they have them at little kids carnivals like sports carnivals and it's a round robin so it's like this knockout competition where you knock each other out and you you play all day you play different games and then the two teams come together at the end of the day i think that's what it is a round robin so i'm getting that kind of at the moment the, for these global elites and these people that are in the chart it's showing me like it's just so competitive they're showing me this round robin like they're all going around with what works and what doesn't work and who's going to be the successful one at the top and who's going to be standing at the end of the day so we know that this is very very competitive um for these global elites and these leaders it's showing me this round robin it just goes on it's like just a day <laughs> well it's just saying it's like to them it's like a sporting activity like who can be the most successful and who's going to win and be at the top of their game so this is kind of why i'm getting that round robin it's like a sporting event like a kid's sporting carnival that goes all day but it's these elites and how they're trying all different things and who's going to be standing and who are the two teams and we know it's probably trudeau and uh, daniel andrews with jacinda adern in in a close third position but this is what i'm getting i'm getting this real competition that round robin that goes on and on and on they're all competing with each other these global leaders they really are um i'll just see if there's anything else today
God, fingers crossed the guides are saying that these leaders are slipping off their ladder of success. See, they think they're climbing the ladder of success and that they're gonna like be looked up to. Like I keep talking about how they're gonna, they think people put them on a pedestal. <laughs> None of us put them on a pedestal, that's for sure. But this is the image they give themselves. We know that they do. They think they're mightier than they are, don't they? So I am getting shown by the guides that the rungs are like breaking and they're falling to the ground. So this is not going perfectly. This big rollout of the red carpet, reset agenda, is not going perfectly at all. That's why they have to do the trials to see what's going to work um, in different places. Um, because of course they know it's all about, you know, seeing who'll conform. They already know who'll comply and who'll conform, but then there's this middle bracket that we keep talking about of people waking up that are, you know, just like New Zealand the other day with the rubber band, they're either gonna um, keep pulling away from government or they're gonna bounce back into the narrative. So that's what I'm getting, and this is sort of globally as well. Um, let me see if there's something to close with today. You can hear that rooster <laughs> in the background. It's a really cold, wintry day again today. We've got rain again, that's why I'm under my little outdoor garden area. Um, so yes, a bit wintry and rainy again. More rain down the east coast of Australia. We've had it all year. It's getting ridiculous now. You do have to wonder what's going on. Oh, maybe it's climate change. Have any of us thought of that? God, that's a perfect thing for them to keep pushing it, isn't it? Oh my goodness. All right, I'll see if there's something to close with today. God, I'm getting a Madonna song today and it's called living in a material world and I think that's what they're kind of saying is that we're all living in a material world and that's why it's very important that we get most of you wouldn't know that song and I think it's actually the one where she's dressed up as Marilyn Monroe isn't it and she's living in this material world and it's like this fake persona but we know that with Marilyn Monroe for example she lived a very different life. It wasn't who she was. She was Norma Jean inside. And, and this is kind of the image that I'm getting that we live in this very material world. It's a false world. Um, that's why it's so important. We talk here on my channel about living in that now moment, getting outside in nature, um, creating our own terra bella, which is our beautiful earth. Keep moving forward, not focusing on all that negativity from the past and the hurts and things we've gone through because even though it's this like material world of falseness and lies and the media is lying and we know all this is going on, it, it's really important that we keep moving forward. Um, that's what I'm getting today. It, it is a, um, is it material girl? I'm a material girl living in a material world um, by Madonna. That's, that's the song that I'm getting at the moment because it is a material and fake world. Gosh, you only need to look really at Instagram. Um, I was looking at something of the Kardashians the other day and their waistlines, they have done the, what do you call it? The cutting out of their bodies and put their little waist is about this tiny, abnormal. They do all the trickery with the, um, oh, what do you call them? The filters and all that. And, and it is a material world. That's not the real world. You know, we don't want our kids growing up with that false, it's that false metaverse and an illusion of everything, isn't it? So that's the song I'm getting today. We're living in this material world. That's why it's very important to detach and get out of that material world. Um, so that's the song I'm getting today, is we are living in a material world, which we know, and a world full of lies, I'm thinking. Um, hang on a sec, I'll see if there's anything else to close. And it's saying like we've got to not judge others for the decisions they've made. And look, to be honest, I have said that a lot on this channel. We all have different viewpoints. We all have experienced different things in our past that have led us to where we are. We all see things from different perspectives. Um, like I keep saying, a lot of people can't see the things that are coming at them. A lot of people weren't aware that interest rates were gonna go up. We were, for some reason, we had this knowing and we understood it. So we have to also not judge other people because they're still expanding and, and growing. Their awarenesses are still opening up to the, um, I guess you could say the truths. Um, Hang on a sec, there's just something they're trying to get through to me. Hold the fort. God, they're giving me a George Michael song, actually. It's that song when you find love and you know what love is. Um, 
when you find love and you know just what it is it's such a pretty song if i i don't know what the name of it is of course i don't i do love george michael he's got an absolutely brilliant love um he's got a brilliant voice rather um so i am getting that song it's such a beautiful soft caring song and i think what they're saying is you've got to kind of love your life like like when you find love it's about embracing every moment and feeling that joy inside of you and feeling free from anxiety and fear and like loving our pets i know you guys have got animals out there too and pets and we love you know we, we still love our family look at my sister and i we're completely on different pages but we still love each other so i think um that's the important part today is to still keep loving our lives and and not carrying and harboring those old resentments and fears and pains and hurts just just let them go um so i'm going to leave you with those songs today um mark george michael when you know what love when you know what love is is that what it's called oh we'll figure it out go and search it up anyway listen to a few of his songs he's got the best voice i absolutely love it um all right i'm gonna say goodbye take care everybody and i'll say goodbye from australia keep smiling and have a wonderful day and i'll go and put my umbrella up yet again <laughs> and i'll talk to you tomorrow don't forget to subscribe hit the like buttons and i'll see you soon bye from australia bye everyone